Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So we're gonna be talking about the Cuisinart DBM-8 Burr Grinder. This is a burr grinder I've been using for, I would say, two years now, and it has not failed me once. So I'm super excited to talk about this with you guys. This is gonna be a full review. It's gonna be an in-depth review of everything I've learned over the two years, and I'm gonna explain why you should buy it, and maybe why you might not want to buy it. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, let's get a hands on with this bad boy. So right off the bat, you should know that this is not a small grinder. If you're looking for something small, do not buy this. This thing is very, very large. It stands as tall as a cereal box. Um, I would say a family size cereal box, not a small one. Um, so it's very, very tall and it's just a big machine. This is not um, for just doing little tiny amounts of grinds. If you're trying to just grind up freshly daily, do not buy this. This thing is not for you. This is for the person who's going to be grinding up. I believe this is a 12 ounce hopper. Um, I think it's called a hopper. I don't know. It's 12 ounces in here, people. So that's a that's a standard bag of coffee that you buy from the store is going to be 10 to 12 ounces. So it's going to grind up a large amount and it's going to put it right in chair. So let's go ahead and talk about this part first. So this is a very simple catch for your grinds. The only thing I don't like about it is it seems to catch a lot of the dust around the edges and I don't know if that's because of the design or if that's just normal, um, but me not knowing anything about burr grinders, I don't know if that's normal. So I'm just gonna state that it will catch a whole bunch of stuff here and you're gonna have to knock that off and throw it away, no big deal, but um, yeah, so this will hold 10 to 12, maybe 13 ounces of ground coffee. Now, if it depends on how fine or coarse you grind it, will determine how much can actually fit in here. Because if you're doing, say, you know, a, a, a espresso grind, you're going to have a little bit less because it's going to pack in. So keep that in mind. Um, now let's talk about this right here. This is probably the only thing that you're really going to have to check and clean. Um, as you can see, mine is not the cleanest. Um, I have only cleaned this out really once and it was because of necessity rather than anything else. Um, but it really doesn't clog up. It, I'm very surprised. I, I've put some super oily beans in here. I grind up anywhere from 10 to uh, what, two and a half pounds. <laughs> per week. So this thing is being used is not being used, you know, industrially, but it's definitely being used um, by me pretty, pretty heavily. Um, so now let's go ahead and pop this up to the top. So right here, you have your timer. Now I've never really figured this out because I don't I, maybe I'm grinding too much. I don't know. Maybe this is designed for the people that want to grind up just enough for a cup per day, meaning they put the grinds or sorry, they put the beans in here and then they put it to four. They hit the start button. It shoots it out and you only get a little bit in here and then you make your cup. I don't know. I've always gone to 18 and it's just run usually about halfway and then it stops and then I do it again and then that thing gets full so I kind of wish that this thing was a little bit different this is my one gripe is it's not it's not intuitive and you're kind of just left like okay I have to slide it all the way over here to run my thing and then slide it over here to turn it off it's Maybe I'm missing something that, that's very likely. Okay, so that's the timer. It's It works. <laughs> now, here is the, the part of it that I like is how you set it to fine, medium, or coarse. You literally just turn the entire head of this. I love that. It's very, very intuitive. It, it's very simple. You have these 
these dots right here that show you roughly what the actual grind is going to look like in terms of size so you're getting a visual and you're getting the word right here so that's very very cool um i always take this off when i'm doing my grind test um but yeah this is made out of plastic and what will happen is you'll get coffee gr grounds sorry you'll get coffee beans that don't fully grind up and they just sit at the bottom when you have like say five or ten left so you're might be thinking how do i get this thing off in order to get those beans out you could tip it upside down and deal with that or you could just turn it and just keep turning it and just keep turning it just keep turning just keep turning just keep turning and voila look at that that is something i discovered a little bit later on i did not know this right away and when i did it i was like oh that is very cool it really does come apart <coughs> okay so now you can actually see that there are there's one bean in there so if you want to make sure that you're not getting any cross pollination or cross contamination you can go ahead and do this every time you can get a little a little brush in there and brush that out and make sure that that's nice and clean so that to me is an a plus right there they really thought about the customer and they really thought about simplicity and i applaud them immensely now to put this back on you literally just set it down and you just start turning just start turning just start turning just start turning until you hear a click boom now we're back you see that and now it's back on it's just that simple i cannot say enough about that i mean this thing is is a very straightforward device there's not a lot of there's not a lot of fluff to it there's not a lot of work that you have to put into it it just simply does its job now let's talk about its job so i've been using this thing for quite a while now two years i would say almost and this thing has performed like advertised every single time it's unbelievable like it just keeps grinding um and it it's not it doesn't really get that dirty i'm quite surprised like i've never cleaned this thing at all and it just never seems to be that dirty but let's go ahead and take a look at the feet down here so there's feet right there which do do it, the feet they do the job they do the job this thing doesn't move around which is actually something i never thought of this thing does not move around at all <laughs> in fact you can see In fact, you can see my whole desk is shaking right now. I don't know if you can see that, but it's literally shaking instead of moving. Now, let's talk about the, the, the sound of this. So this thing is actually very, very loud. I don't know if it's this one particular that's loud or if it's all of these that are going to be loud, but this thing is very loud. And I've actually come up with a fix on how to dampen the, the sound from this. So I'm going to show you that right now. So you can do that at home if you want, because sometimes I have to grind this in the morning and my beautiful wife is sleeping and my baby boy is sleeping and I don't want to wake them up. Um, I don't know if you can hear my son right now, but he is teething hard. He is teething hard, people. All right. So that is basically the breakdown of this thing it's very very straightforward it has almost no problems that i've come up with in two years of using it pretty intensely and i think that if you have the space and you're not looking for a single uh, grind for each cup you can get away with uh, buying this this is designed for grinding in bulk and storing your grounds for a long period so there you go
All right, that's the burr grinder. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely smash that like button. And if you wanna join the at-home family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a little boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I'm on my way to 1K. Yes, I passed the 500 subscriber mark. I'm so thankful for everyone who has subscribed. It blows me away every day that you guys keep coming back. You keep subscribing. And I'm so, so thankful because 1K is gonna change my life. It's gonna change my family's life. And I can't say how much I am excited about this. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. All right, let's get a hands-on with this bad boy. So this is actually quite large. So if you're in the if you're in the market to buy one of these things, you should know that this is not some small little tiny grinder. This thing is very massive. I'm actually going to have to lift up my setup here because to get this in frame, it is just humongous.